Well, welcome my dears to another week of Reality Transurfing Lessons. And today we arrive at lesson number 24 called The Resolve to Have. So please subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications on new lessons every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. The principle about the resolve to have is that when there is not a single shadow of a doubt, desire or fear in your mind, but simply the quiet knowing and resolve to have, the impossible becomes the possible. For example, in this space, you can even pass an exam without knowing the subject, sail through grueling interviews, secure a super lucrative contract, win a hopeless case, and even charm people you never dreamed would be in your league of friends. How does this happen, you may ask? When you let go of the desire the attachment to outcome to achieve your goal. You're just suspending, surrendering by being dispassionate, just like a samurai who lives as if his body were already dead. There is no importance, but just an inner trusting knowingness. Be reconciled with the idea of defeat but in your thoughts, imagine that the goal that you intend is already in your bag. Cast hope aside, like I said last week, as reality transurfers, we do not hope, we do not wish, we simply put the intention out there. Have nothing but the willingness to receive it because it's already yours. That's what you want, right? So what's the problem? Yours it will be. You see, desire is when you focus your attention on the goal and you focus so much attention on it that you can build up a pendulum against it and simply push it away because you've put so much importance on it. An internal intention is when you fix your attention on the process of progressing towards the goal. And the outer intention is when you focus your attention on how the goal is manifesting of its own accord. Now, Inner intention helps you to achieve your goals within the physical world and outer intention selects the goal from the space of variance because it's already existing. Inner intention is aimed at directly influencing the world that is around us whereas outer intention allows the goal to be realized in accordance with the intention. So whatever frequency your intention is going with is the frequency of the goal that is going to be realized that already exists. Like equals like. Unconditional, unreserved belief in success is what triggers the working of the outer intention. So you're surrendering to it. You've put it out there and then you've let it go. And usually the mind desires and the soul protests or the soul longs for something and the mind simply will not bring it into play. As a result of which, the image that stands in front of the world mirror just becomes blurred and indistinctive. However, when the soul 
and the mind are united in their striving together, a clear image is created, which is then instantly materialized from the space of variance via the mirror. Heart-mind coordination. Mean to have what you imagine. You have nothing to lose. Your options are only limited by the clarity of your own intention. You are creator. Go for it. What are you intending today? See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.